I am here at Via Table in Worcester with Caitlin Carolyn. And um, this place is gorgeous. Thank you. It's very homey. And it just it's very inviting. Thank you. Now you are strictly Italian food? We are. We're not specifically in one region of Italy. We traveled all over Italy to bring recipes. You know, some came from our family, some came um, from cooking with different chefs in Italy and kind of bringing some of their recipes in the different regions that we traveled to. So now this place is, is huge. It's, it's really big, but you have different dining areas so you can be in an intimate, intimate sort of area and not feel overwhelmed. It's true. We have a lot of customers that really enjoy the action and they like to sit near our kitchen, which is, you know, a completely open kitchen. And then there's other people that really want to come for a very intimate, you know, kind of secluded type of an evening, dim, and they will come, you know, they, we've got lots of different areas in the restaurant, booths, tables, to accommodate everyone regardless of, you know, what their desire is. And you have some evening. outdoor seating too? We do, we have a big patio. We get about a hundred extra seats on our patio um, when we do have it open. Um, it's open all summer long and then we enclose it for the winter so we can use it all winter long um, for regular seating. We also do private parties out there. Nice. So this this is really cool. Tell me about this. Thank you. So this mural we had um, custom painted for us. This center part that we're looking at was actually an original photo that my parents had taken when they were traveling over to Italy. So this is definitely, you know, one of our focal points at Via. Well, it gives you the feeling like you are in Italy. It, do, it does, and that's really what they do. They're all about great food and family and conversation and you know, a little wine. <laughs> well, talking about great food, it smells so good. I want to talk Thank about food. You. So now this is one of your salads? This is. This is our burrata caprese salad, and we're currently um, using our heirloom tomatoes um, as they're in season. And we have a little um, balsamic pearl and some micro basil um, on top. And it's so fresh, and it's it's light. It's one of our best sellers. It's so beautiful. Thank Those you. It is red, gorgeous. red tomatoes with yes. the white cheese. It's just beautiful. Absolutely, yeah. Now, you have a lot of seafood here also. We do. We do a lot of seafood, a lot of meat, a lot of pasta. And this is one of our um, greatest seafood um, entrees. This is a sea scallop um, caponata. And, um, you know, the scallops we bring in fresh, and they really don't require a lot. There's a little a little sear, they're delicious all on their own. And then we have our caponata underneath, which is kind of a, a warm eggplant salad, mm. warm vegetable salad. It's a little sweet, a little sour. So now in front of you here, what, what do we have here? Uh, this is our suckling pig. So we do, um, we slow roast um, our own pigs and we do that for about 12 hours. The meat is um, so tender, falls off the bone. And then we make this reduction sauce ourselves. It's really just the, the sauce that comes from roasting the pig. It's just reduced, nothing else added to it when you reduce it for that long. A little it just crispy skin on top. A little crispy skin on top and then some baby carrots on the side. That is super, it's like butter. It yes. melts in your, I mean, you would think, you know, because I've made pork at home and it's a little, that is, melts right in your mouth. It is, it's wonderful. And we delicious. put some of our Tuscan potatoes underneath so you have a little bit, um, of you know our the potatoes with the Tuscan herbs to complement the suckling pork. Very nice. So this is our um, carbonara, and this is um, trotole, which is um, kind of like a corkscrew pasta. And we cure our own pancetta in house, and we have fresh English peas, and it's mixed with an egg cream. And um, so it's actually much lighter than what a lot of people would think of as carbonara um, sauce. This is really how they do it over in Italy. They use the egg yolk of, to make the, this whole sauce as opposed to adding heavy cream. So this doesn't have any heavy cream in it. And then we just top it with some Parmesan cheese and some pea tendrils. We try to make it so people don't leave here hungry. <laughs> Definitely they will not. Yes. <laughs> uh, now you have a great bar area Thank and you. Kate made me a great drink. So yes, what is this? This is our black raspberry mojito. Hi, my name is Kate. I'm a bartender at Via. Today we'll be making the black raspberry mojito. We'll start with our fresh mint and fresh lime. Homemade simple syrup. And we muddle our lime and simple syrup together. Our privateer house rum. Raspberry liqueur. Top it off with fresh raspberries and ginger ale. And that is our black raspberry mojito. Now you also offer um, a wine flight. These are our wine flights. We do a white wine flight and a red wine flight. Um, and we had these little um, 
holders custom made for us and it just gives our customers a little sample of what we have out there so they can choose white or red and um, they can just take a little taste. Now you also have some really great desserts in house. Yes, we make all of our own desserts here and um, the one that we're seeing here is our most popular. This is our crepe cake. So it's 15 layers of crepe and that is um, stacked and in between is mascarpone cheese and a little cream cheese and we top it with chocolate sauce and then there's um, the uh, Amarino cherries on the side. That is so decadent, but it's very light. Yes, it is. It's really not, you know, it, it looks very rich, but it's really not as rich that as it so looks. Good. It's excellent. And you also have this cool little sampler of your gelato? Yes, our, yes, our gelato sampler. So we can do, uh, we have mini cones that we bring in, um, and we make our own gelato here. We have a whole gelato case with lots of flavors. Our customers can come take samples. Um, and the gelato sampler is actually great because if you are, again, don't want to commit to, you know, chocolate or vanilla, you can have a little sample of all of our flavors. I, I love that. I love the sample of wine, a little of this. I, I love sampling. Yes. And I'm going to sample all this when we finish here. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> well, Caitlin, thank you so much. It was great visiting you here. Are you going to have thank a little toast you. with yes, me? Yes, I certainly will. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to Via. Thank you.